Hey there friends and enemies, Jopa here again and today we got an official gameplay trailer and some more news for Phantom Blade Zero. So I want to check that out with you guys. We've seen some teasers of this game in the past. It looks absolutely insane, so I can't wait to see what they have in store for us today. And knowing this is going to be gameplay has me very hyped. People are obviously going to compare this to something like Elden Ring or even Ghost of Tsushima Rise of the Ronin or whatever the hands are. 42 or 41. The face of this is here! This looks absolutely unique. I can't wait. Don't. Don't go up there. Turn back. Damn. Before it's too late. Oh, that was sick. Combat looks so fast. Oh, he just caught that and sent it back. That was sick. Bosses look insane. That's a dope looking sword, by the way. This guy's name is Commander Cleave. <laughs> Oh, not the leg blades. I love the pacing of this. Looks absolutely insane. So, what they announced today is that this game will have hands-on demos at Summer Games Fest, China Joy Gamescom, and Tokyo Game Show, which is... Interesting and has me hopeful that we will get hands on with this game maybe at home sooner rather than later as well. Yes, Tokyo Game Show is quite a ways away, so it won't be until after that potentially. Or maybe we'll get a demo shortly before we actually get the game in hand because there is not a firm release date as of yet. Hopefully this does mean that it is coming sooner rather than later, maybe by the end of the year, early next year. Either way, in a world of Souls-like where everyone is competing for a similar type of gameplay, this one stands out to me because of how quick it looks. And that's something that I would love to see. I want a game that is just fast-paced, even with this uh, dark, mutated tone that they're taking with the world as well it combines a lot of things that i am personally very excited about we know that there's a lot of souls like type of games coming in the near future you see everything from obviously elden ring shadow of the earth tree we've got black myth wukong and this game again for me is separating itself from the competition simply because of the pace that the game is played at and that's something that i think could be very very interesting it also didn't show off a lot of uh combat with non unique enemies every enemy that they fought seemed pretty interesting so that could be another way instead of having any kind of uh trash enemies but we'll have to see it we definitely need to know more and hopefully when people play the demo at summer games fest this weekend we'll get some more impressions and see what everyone has to think of the game with it in hands because really ultimately we're not going to know how the game feels until you get hands on how the parries feel how the dodge feels that's something that's very important for this type of game in order for it to feel fluid. And if it's janky at all, that can really be the downfall. So I can't wait to get hands on. Hopefully it is sooner rather than later. I really enjoy the look of the game, the art style, everything like that is very, very cool. The uh, voice acting sounded pretty good as well. If everything lives up to the hype, this is a type of game that I am definitely interested in. Let me know if you are as well in the comments down below. My name is Jopa. If you want to see more coverage of Phantom Blade Zero going forward, definitely let me know in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Helps me tremendously. Have a good one. I'll catch you all later.